क्लास फाइव साइंस टर्म वन लेसन नंबर वन प्लांट्स रिप्रोडक्शन लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव इन दिस लेसन यू विल लर्न अबाउट इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ प्लांट्स फॉर लिविंग थिंग्स रिप्रोडक्शन ऑफ प्लांट्स फ्रॉम सीड्स Importance of seeds dispersal and different methods of seeds dispersal. Growth of new plants from a part of plant. Types of crops. Farming and fertilizers. Different methods of crop protection. Recall. Write the names of five things which we get. from the plants fiber for clothes perfumes fruits and vegetables firewood and timber bamboo pulp for making paper introduction all living things need food to live the most important source of food is plant we get cereals pulses fruits vegetables spices oils and beverages from plants various parts of plants are also used for making many useful things like fiber for clothes wood for fire and furniture rubber for tires gum for sticking tea and coffee as beverages the world around us is beautiful because of plants they give us oxygen to breathe and survive the roots of plants prevent soil erosion so life cannot be imagined without the plants since plants are important for us in our daily life it is necessary for us to study how plants and their young ones are produced this process of producing the young ones is called reproduction plants reproduction let us study reproduction in plants plants reproduce to produce their young ones from seeds the seeds of a plant is found inside the fruit they are usually hard and vary in size the seed is usually thrown away after the fruit is consumed but the seeds of some plants are edible these are called as food grains the seed has an outer covering called as seed coat which protects the baby plant inside the seed the seed coat has a tiny hole through which a seed gets water seed leaves or cotyledons store food for the baby plant the seed gives birth to a new baby plant when the seeds get right amount of water air and sunlight to grow they produce a baby plant this new baby plant is called as a seedling and this process is known as germination process of germination once the seed gets water air and sunlight the seed coat breaks open and the baby plant comes out of it the baby plant grows upwards to form the shoot of a plant the part which grows downwards form the root leaves begin to develop after a certain period and the seed or 
cotyledons shrink and fall off. During its initial stages, the seedling gets its food from the cotyledons. As the food inside the cotyledons has been used up, the seedling gets its food from the soil. It absorbs water and nutrients from the soil and develops into a plant. The soil is important for a plant to grow, but not all the seeds grow into a new plant because of various reasons like some seeds do not get right conditions to germinate some seeds are unhealthy and are unable to germinate heavy rains winds animals and birds may destroy the seeds to ensure that more new plants grow plants produce many seeds dispersal of seeds as the plants cannot move from one place to another the seeds are scattered by the help of animals water wind and air this scattering of seeds from the plants is called as dispersal of seeds let's see the different ways of dispersal of seeds wind dispersal the wind takes the seed to different places and drops it into the soil for the process of germination to begin this is called as wind dispersal examples of such seeds are cotton seeds and dandelion seeds Animal dispersal. Animals and birds eat various types of fruits and the seeds of these fruits passes into their excretion and are left in different places. This can be away from the parental plant. Jamun, cherry and apple seeds are dispersed in this way. Humans also consume the fruits and discard the seeds. All these are the methods by which a seed is dispersed away from the mother plant in order to grow into a new plant. Some plant seeds have hooks in them. These hooks attach themselves to the fur of animals. Thus, they are carried from one place to another. Example, the Tura and Tiger Claw. Water Dispersal Seeds of some plants have sponge-like texture and can float on water. Example, seed of coconut and lotus. They can flow with water without getting decayed thus water also helps in dispersal of seeds explosion dispersal some fruits burst and the seeds open automatically when they are ripen this causes the seeds to scatter in all the directions this process of dispersal is called as dispersal by explosion example poppy bean and peas etc growing new plants without seeds though most plants grow from seeds some plants can also be grown from a part of the parental plant some of the methods in which the plants develop from another part are from cutting some plants like rose and hibiscus 
can be grown from the cuttings. If you cut off a piece of the stem from the main plant and put it in the ground, it develops roots, leaves, sprout and the stem becomes a new plant. From underground stems A new plant can be grown from the stems of plants like potatoes, turmeric and ginger. From leaves Some plants can be grown from their leaves. Example, bryophyllum. Activity which part of the following plant produces a new plant? Ginger plant, roots, carrot plant, roots, rose plant, stem, mint plant, buds, growing plants for food. When the plants of the same type are grown in large scale at a certain place during a particular period of time, it is called as crop. Crops The climate, type of soil and growing conditions vary for different crops and they also require different kinds of soil. Depending upon the climate conditions, there are two types of crops, Kharif and Rabi. Kharif crop the crops that depend on monsoon rains and grow from the month of July to October are called as Kharif crops. Some of the examples are maize, cotton, rice, sugarcane, etc. Rabi crop. The crops which do not depend on monsoon rains and grow from the month of November to April are called as Rabi crops. Some of the examples are wheat, barley, mustard, etc. Vegetables and fruits. Just like crops, vegetables and fruits also need specific conditions to grow. Soil rich in minerals yield better vegetables and fruits. Some vegetables need a cool climate to grow well. Some of the examples are cauliflower, peas, radish and cabbage. Farming and fertilizers. To increase the yield of crops and vegetables, many types of fertilizers are used by farmers. Manure is the natural fertilizer which increases the quality of soil. Some chemicals are also used as fertilizers. Some examples are urea, ammonium sulfate and superphosphate. Using large quantities of chemical fertilizers is dangerous and should be avoided. Crop protection. To get a good yield of crop, it is very important to protect the plants from animals, insects and diseases. Fencing and scarecrows are used to keep the grazing animals like sheep and goats away from the crop. Insects like caterpillars and grasshoppers feed on plants and destroy them. To protect plants from such insects, many types of insecticides and pesticides are sprayed on crops. To prevent microbes from destroying plants, fungicides are used. Seeds are protected by storing them in airtight, waterproof and insect-proof containers. Outline Plants are the major source of food for living things. Plants produce oxygen without which life cannot exist on the earth. Plants produce seeds in large quantity to increase their chances of reproduction. The process of production of a baby plant 
from a seed is called as germination. Dispersal is the process by which seeds are dispersed away from its mother plant. Some plants can be grown from the part of a parent plant. Different crops need different climatic conditions to grow. The two main types of crops depending upon the season in which they grow are Kharif and Rabi crops. Fertilizers are used to increase the yield of crop. Keywords Crop Same type of plants grown in large scale at a certain place during a particular period of time. Fertilizer A chemical substance added to soil or land to increase its fertility. Manure Natural fertilizer made from animal wastes. Fungicides Chemicals that destroy fungus. Pesticides Chemicals that destroy pests. Insecticides Chemicals that destroy insects. Worksheet for this lesson will be uploaded separately and the link will be provided in the description box below. If you like this video, please share and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon.